All right, man. Sketchpad podcast. We back. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content, all that good stuff. So look, man, today we're going to be talking about a female who is calling out the Democratic Party on TikTok. And I wanted to get this video out before TikTok deleted because TikTok will delete this video. You know what I'm saying? So I know they're going to try to get her out of here. But yeah, man, we're going to watch this video. We're going to come back and discuss. All right, yeah, man, we back. Look, if you want us to react to your stuff, links will be on the screen. You know what I'm saying? If you want to donate, that's also on the screen. You know what I'm saying? And all that good stuff. Hey, man, we're trying to get this channel to 20,000 subscribers. Please help us. We almost there. So, you know what it is. So, let's play this video. This girl speaking on the Democratic Party and how she feel about it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to come back and discuss. These jobs, these corporations, they the reason why this economy. I be hearing all y'all talk about how this world is just really literally just kicking y'all in the ears. And child, I know. Y'all gotta realize something. This Democratic Party, they run the media. They run these jobs, these corporations. They the reason why this economy is in piss poor shape. See, the Republican Party, this was built on the republic for which it stands. Because that's what benefits us the most. Because being a republic person or a republican is about freelance. It's about being able to be self-sufficient. When you self-sufficient, you don't need... Yeah, she's speaking facts right now. She's smoking this right now. Oh, my God. Let's go. Any handouts from the government. But see, the Democrats want you to need them and rely on them and get handouts from them. But the thing about it is they make it so hard for you to receive them handouts that you deserve, that you put into, that it becomes obsolete anyway. It's all a scheme and a scam. I want y'all to really realize that that whole party need to evaporate in thin goddamn air. They need to, I dream a genie the motherfuckers up out of here. Seriously. Like, if we really gonna have a government, they can't exist at all. Other than that, we don't need them. If y'all not gonna make it to where we all work together and can have a sufficient society that thrives on its own and bring back all the jobs to America, take them jobs out of China and all them other countries that y'all done sent the job to, shout out to Clinton. Then there's no point in us dealing with y'all because y'all keep selling us out. This party been selling us out since the beginning of time because they want to keep control and power over people. They don't want nobody to have nothing. They are evil, demonic ass people. And it's time that y'all realize that. Them people don't have your best interests. They got their own best interests because they own all this stuff. As long as you go to work every day, they can sit up and, and eat bonbons all day and chill out and do what they want to do. Go on islands and do all kind of unnecessary activity while you sitting up here sweating and, and, and bleeding every day for a company that don't care nothing about you. You can't even see your kids, enjoy your family, enjoy the fruit of your labor because you can't even afford to do so. And this is like the average American. A lot of us were self-sufficient before they came back in office. I'm, I'm not going to hold none of y'all on that. Like I was in retirement and now I got to go back to doing what I didn't want to do all because y'all want to move the goalposts. Oh, no. Nah. Y'all got to realize what's up. These people not right. And they playing in your face with, with that lady. They playing in y'all face with that real bad because they want y'all to just be bootlickers and keep bending over backwards for this party that don't care nothing about y'all and it's it's it's, it's, it's yeah she she telling the truth democratic party been snakes they've been doing they've been doing black people dirty for a long time and i think black people is starting to wake up they've been doing the, the, the let's just finish the video i got a lot to say over with we 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 not standing for that the the high almighty is not standing for it any daggone more they time is up they were supposed to be up out of here a couple of years ago and they know it that's why they keep playing these damn games these reindeer games what's gonna happen is they gonna run off on the plug they gonna run off with them donations because they know their time is up 
They trying to use this lady as the plug to India because India rules the tech world. And honestly, we can run our own stuff here. It's so many intelligent people here. We all can contribute something to create our own economy. We do not need these people at all. Manifesto coming. It's on the way. I be hearing all y'all. Damn. Yeah, she, she was spitting facts. She was spitting facts, man. It's been a long time coming, man. And I think that black people in this country need to wake up and stop being a part of the victim Olympics. I think that black people in this country need to stop acting like we're still being oppressed. I really do. I think we should move past it come up with a plan to make our communities better with each other. That's what I think we should be doing instead of us. Every time we turn around, trying to figure out a way to, to say that we're being held down by somebody or we're being oppressed by somebody or somebody is doing something to us. Don't get me wrong. There's some racist people out there still to this day. But the institutions that y'all talking about that are uh, racist, it's not that these institutions are racist. It's just most of y'all just disagree with it because y'all been a part of victimhood so long that y'all y'all believe that these things should be handed to you and given to you just off of because you're black. You shouldn't have to work as hard because your ancestors were slaves. You should not have to do this because your cousin was killed by a cop. You know what I'm saying? I think that us as black people need to get past all that. Move past it and start working on how we can make ourselves better and our communities better. Because there's no laws holding you back from making your community better. None. There's no laws holding you back. If, if let's say me, you and 10 other black people decided to put $10,000 into a pot, all of us a piece. And we started buying homes and we flipped the homes and we created a community and we did that. We could do that. It's nothing stopping us. So, She's 100% right. The Democrats been tricking black people for a long time. And they'll give black people crumbs and make black people believe that they are uh, getting all of this stuff. Because they're being given, being given this stuff. But look at all the cities in America. They're all ran by black people. A good portion of them are ran by black mayors, black governors or whatever, black DAs. And its cities are terrible. They're terrible. So. We ain't got nobody to blame by ourselves because right now we had a, we had a position where we can change something and we don't do it. So it is what it is. Yeah, uh, I agree with her 110 um, percent. She said a lot of things that resonates with me very well um you know republicans i do have to say that the republican party does produce independent people entrepreneurs people that like to work for self and like to build their own you might have a few democrats that way but it's not many um I also would like to say that, you know, she she definitely spoke the truth when you look at it, who's the greater evil? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really. I mean, we could say we could like this, but there's probably going to be people in the comments that's going to say, oh, well, what about the school system? What about education? What about the loans, the grants that the Democratic I mean, Party all, approved all of? That, all that you, what about all, the, that, all that you just mentioned? Black people get the same thing. Everything you just mentioned, mm -hmm. black people get the same thing. There's no, 
I'll put it to you like this. There's no institution that's holding black people back. Now, with me saying that, are, and, I, and I go back to what I said before, are there some racist people? Yes. Now, the institutions are put in place to help people. There's so many different institutions that are put in place to help black people, especially. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now, in America, you can't, uh, you can't discriminate these interest institutions. You know what I'm saying? So, for example, uh, uh, what they call that? The the what's the name act with um, the uh, the uh, I can't remember exactly the, the exact. It, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Anyway, um, basically, a lot of white women benefited from that. You know what I'm saying? They benefited from mm-hmm. from the um. Uh, I can't remember. I, I hate. I hate that I be forgetting stuff. I f- I know what it is, but I can't remember. But a lot of white women have benefited from it. Affirmative action. So a lot of like white women, uh, 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 they have um benefited from affirmative action. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of laws were put in place made for especially black people. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't made especially for black people, but they was made to help black people, but you can't say other people can't use it. You get what I'm saying? Now, as far as the school system mm-hmm. goes and what you were saying about, about uh, the institutions and people might jump in the comments and say that there are racist people who will try to block things and do things, but the institutions are not. You know what I'm saying? It's the people who are running it. Now, some would say, well, who's running the institutions with the people, but not everybody does that. And I believe at this point right. in at this point in our life and our livelihoods in this point, you can't show me an institution or I would say most of the people that are running these things are liberals. So all the people that jump in the comments, if the liberals, if you're saying that there are racist uh, entities, who's running all these institutions? The same mm-hmm. people that y'all vote for. You know what I'm saying? Because Republicans yeah. don't want none of that. Republicans don't want no government. They want as less government. They want as less stuff as possible. The, uh, and I put it to you like this, and I'll let you go. I'm not so bad for cutting you off. Republicans are more trade. When I mean by trade, like work with your hands. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trade, work with your hands. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, work work with with uh uh less government democrats are let me give you this and me give you this and you give me your vote that's democrats so go ahead my bad yeah um so you're right about everything you were saying But to add on to that, what I was going to say was that I know the people, you know, in the comments are probably going to say, well, you know, that um, that refurbish fund or whatever you call it, that uh, Biden approved of that uh, wipes away all your uh, your bills as far as um, as far as school loans that wipes away your school loans and leaves you scot free. That's what. I felt, you know, people might try to mention because that came under the Democratic Party. But, but that's bullshit, here's though. The th- that's bullshit. Huh? That's bullshit because you're basically saying that you should be forgiven for a loan that you took out. How does that make sense? Mm-hmm. If I took out a loan and I didn't, I should be forgiven for it? I the one took the loan out and I didn't pay it back. So what happens to all the people that paid their loans back? You don't reimburse them well, the money? Well, well, how how they how they I know you know how they do it, but for the people that don't, well, it sort of goes like this, you know. You get the loan, you get the loan, you know what I'm saying? You have a certain amount of time to pay it back. Once you don't pay it back, you get billed 
extra. Like they might they might put an extra ten, fifteen, twenty dollars on it, and it could add up to the thousands. I've seen, I've had one person tell me they owe up to like twenty, almost thirty thousand in school loans. You understand? So it's no joke. But um, Biden had this whole thing where he raced all that, you know, but you still have to, you still have to pay a certain amount. I think it's like at least 10 months worth of consistent payments before they uh, actually think of uh, wiping it, wiping it scot-free. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I get what you're saying, but what I'm saying to you mm -hmm. is how is that fair to people who paid their loan already? Well, I'm, I mean, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, uh, you know, it's not, but if they paid their loan already, that's, that's on, <laughs> I guess that's on them. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what like, I'm trying to say. So his, what I'm trying to say to you is for you to take out a loan, that's like me take a car loan out, right? I take a car, yeah. let's say I brought a car for you. I took a loan out, right? And I, I let's say I didn't pay you back. Right. But mm -hmm. then some guy came along. At some guy who who owned who owned a, a, a different company and he came he came along and he said to you. I'm going to forgive his loan. <laughs> from mm -hmm. you. So now everything that I have gotten from you, which is my car, which would be the education. It was for free. But here's the best part. The people that already paid you back, now they're going to want their money back from you. Because how is it that I paid for my loan and I did the right thing, but you come along and forgive all these other people? How is that fair? Yeah. It's not fair. It's not fair to, it's not fair to the people who paid their loans. Yeah, that's what that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be forgiven. I'm not saying I'm just saying it's not fair for you to for you to give everybody this money because we know why they're doing it. You're doing it for people's vote. You're mm -hmm. not doing it because you genuinely want. And on top of that, it's illegal. And guess what? When he gets out of office, you know, who's going to look like the bad guy? When they give you all of that back, the next president, because now if they forgive the student loans and then they go back and say, well, Congress and, and the, the Congress and the Senate have to approve this and they wasn't approved and he did it on his own, which Nancy Pelosi clearly said that he couldn't do that, but he did it anyway. So since he did it, wrote an executive, did an executive move or whatever he did to do it. Guess what's going to happen? Now, you're going to get a letter in the mail saying that you got to pay that back. Hmm. That's what it's all. It's all it's all smoke and mirrors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, I, 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 I hear you 110%. I got you. You know, but um, that's most likely what they're going to say, you know. But yeah, I agree with say you that because that's just how they are. I like I don't worry you. about what people say in the comments because I know that yeah. that's how they are. Like I don't care what they say in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Like a thing is is it's a bunch of different things that the Democrats do to get people's vote. And these people notice everybody in the comments, they know this, but they'll go along with it anyway because they're a bunch of NPCs. You know what I'm saying? They'll just run along with whatever. Because they want their side to win. It doesn't matter. Their side could be their side could be pushing everybody into hell in a handbasket. And they won't care. Because that's just what it is with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. You're right. And another thing too, that what I believe that and this is another thing too that that the Democrats do, as far as um See, they have this thing with abortion, right? They have this thing with women's rights. And 
I was gonna make this a separate episode, but we just gonna talk about it now and then just keep it on the same episode. Um, so this thing with women's rights. So Kamala Harris is running on this whole thing with reproduction rights and all this stuff. Now, back when Obama was in office, the first term, his first term, Obama's first term, Obama, he he went on um, a campaign where he was talking about women's rights, women's rights to choose. I can't remember the exact bill that he that he asked for what they was asking for he said that that was his number one priority obama mm-hmm. they had one point they had the house the senate and the presidency obama didn't pass that bill he didn't pass he didn't get it passed he didn't do anything he could have got it passed where it would made the, the land the law of the land where it would be a woman's right to choose through, through the whole law of the land so every state fast forward to now you got kamala who out here saying that She's going to bring Roe v. Roe v. Wade back and all this stuff. First of all, the, the Supreme Court is not going to take that back up. That's just out. It That's done and over with. Secondly, you got to get the states to get on board. And they're not going to do that. Right. I believe that the Democratic Party. Only has that issue to run on. And that's the reason how they get votes. Because they get people to keep coming back to it. They keep dragging people along. It's like it's like being in a relationship with somebody and you keep telling them you're going to change and you never do. And you keep dragging them along and along. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that is the biggest difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. You know what I'm saying? So. And that's that. Yeah. Like I said, man. You know, I I agree. I agree 110%, you know. Um, it is what it is, you know. It's a battle to see who's going to be on, on uh, top, literally. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see what, uh, what it is going to be moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. All right, yeah, man. Well. I mean, thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, man, we'll see y'all. Sketchpad, we out of here. See y'all. Peace, bye.